this is the one thing I love learning about you. So you're, and I feel like this is like Blake Shelton on The Voice. He has like a really wide like playlist, like variety of music that I would have never expected on a playlist. And some of the songs that are your favorite songs are my favorite songs that I never would have guessed you would have loved them. You love some Wham. Careless was who's my jam. But yeah, George Michael. I mean, that's one of the greatest songs ever. And then you got. Together. Yeah. Can I sample you? Can I sample you doing that? I was just saying, rappers don't usually jam to Careless Whisper. I do. And another. Okay. Thing is another. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't no, know a lot of rappers. No, well, I do. I, no, they don't. Because if I get it around certain people and I play it, they like. What's wrong with you? You still want to be friends with Wale? <laughs> <laughs> um, Where did you get the eclectic um, taste in music? Um, I mean, how, how can you hear Wake Me Up Before You Go Go and not want to like, be like, yo, do you go. hear the book? What? And not want to go go. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my father drove cabs in DC um, during like the one of the most like trying times in that area. Um, so I would see all I would see politicians and You'd ride along with yeah, him? Yeah, so I'm just riding around DC, different people was getting in, politicians, homeless people, and I would just hear everything and he'd play everything and he'd buy uh, vinyls and stuff and, and uh, cassettes of things because you know he's at this point, he probably had only been in, the, you know, been in the country maybe for less than ten years. So he was, he was easily influenced by things he would see out there. You know what I'm saying? Because he was born in Nigeria. I love that. That it makes you a great artist. I think that you're well-rounded. Because like seeing Home your title. playlist, like I love that. That's the same thing I was saying about Blake. Like it's so vast. Like the the music knowledge. I think that that it opens you up instead of just being like, nah, I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I think. I think well, cool. I mean, I toured with Mark Ronson. My first tour was with Mark Ronson, wow. and I, I toured the world with him. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we took, we opened for Jay Z. We did all, we did everything. So I was literally on that that specific tour. I was opening for Jay Z with Mark, and I was seeing like Justice and Chromeo and all these things. When I, I ain't never seen nothing like that. So that kind of solidified my like with my taste as when it, when it when it comes to my career. That's really cool, man. I love that. I love that. So tell us about your new single. You have um, a new single, right? Yeah. No, on, on chill. It's um. It's kind of like my, um, I guess, my, uh, the template, I, I guess, if you will, for like dating in this, this time, this era, right now. Where we at? So you talk about Tinder? Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> By show of hands, how many people are here on, on Tinder? You're owning it, the one owned it! I know yes, that there's more people. Yeah. I know that there's more of them. They left you hanging. They left there you hanging. Cool. There's a lot of people in here on Tinder <laughs> right now. Yeah. I will not stop talking until you subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's right, and I can talk a lot. Seriously, not gonna stop. Yep, still here, not going anywhere. I see you. Don't walk away from this.